Hey, what's going on, fellas? How are we doing, man? It's Nelly here. Answering some of the questions you guys sent in on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Today's question is, what's the typical day like um, at a major league game? What time do you get to the park? What time do you leave? Stuff like that. Um, major league and minor league days are, are pretty similar. So I'll kind of break down um, both of them, but they're, they basically work the same way. Um, and it also depends a little bit whether you're at home or on the road. Usually you get to the park a little bit earlier at home because your team's going to hit batting practice first. On the road, your team hits second, so you may get there a little bit later. Uh, everybody's a little bit different. You'll see some guys, you know, in the major leagues or the minor leagues that get to the ballpark at 11 a.m. They play cards. They like, you know, hanging out with their buddies. Um, you'll see some guys that don't like being in the clubhouse very much. They get there later. Kind of show up late, play the game, and head out. They come in, they get their work done, and they leave. So some guys like to linger around, you know, turn the clubhouse into almost like their apartment or their home. Um, give you what I usually do. Usually at home, you know, let's say game starts at seven. Usually I'm going to get there around somewhere around one o'clock, one to probably two o'clock. I'm going to usually either bring lunch in or I'm going to get lunch at the, at the field. So I'll sit down and I'll eat. Depending on where I played, if you talk about AAA with uh, with the, the Nationals, I eat Chipotle six days a week, I think. Get a burrito every day, bring it in. If I was in AAA with the Padres, I'd get sushi. There's a sushi place right next door. I'd get sushi about six days a week. Or like, um, you know, some, maybe not sushi, but uh, let me think. What did I used to get? I used to get teriyaki chicken a lot, uh, rice, all that stuff. Um, you know, single A, Lake Elsinore, terrible eaters. Used to get Panda Express all the time and Chipotle. Um, well, it's funny. I can I can go back to every team and remember what like my daily uh, my daily meals were. Uh, Baltimore. I don't remember what I used to get in Baltimore all the time. Um, my last season with Cleveland. What did I get at Cleveland? Oh, Chipotle every day. It was Chipotle right next to our park. In uh, the major leagues, a lot of times I just eat at the park. So better better meals, get in, have them cook you up something, eat there. So let's say I get in at like 1 or 2 o'clock. I eat my mail. Usually you're going to get ready um, for early work. So I should back up a little bit. Usually I'll go in, probably like foam roll, stretch out a little bit, get loose. Then I'm going to go do my early work. So typically I'm going to go to the cage, get loose. I'll always hit early work every single day. So I'm always going to get in there. I'm going to hit off the tee for a while, go through a couple of drills, kind of work on some, probably do some front flips. Once I do that for a little bit, um, then I'm going to go get ready for uh, BP. So we're going to go out. Again, I don't remember the exact time for a 7 o'clock game, but let's just say like somewhere around 3 something probably. I think probably somewhere around there, I'm probably going to head out onto the field. Sometimes you're going to get early work, you get defensive stuff, you can go out and get some extra ground balls. You get stretches the team, you're going to go through your um, your BP and all that stuff. You're going to come in from the game or in from the field. Uh, usually I'll come in, get something to eat. So depending again on the level, um, you know, get a little bit of a snack, watch some TV. If you're in the major leagues, you can watch some film. So you might you, know, you get a bunch of computers around. You can pull up at bats. You can study the pitcher, all that stuff. After I'm done eating, usually we'll go and jump in. Um, what would I do? Jump in the hot tub. So I jump in a hot tub. Um, I used to like to do that for like you know probably 10, 15 minutes. Um, and then I would usually shower. It's kind of weird, but I usually do that. And then I would go shower. Um, I always like to play after a fresh shower. I don't know why. Um, but actually, a lot of guys do. Most guys shower before they play. It's, it's weird thinking about it now. But um, So you get showered, come out, I um, get dressed. I go back in and do another stretch, um, get loose inside. Then I would go out into the field. I go down the line. I do a little stretch again, move around play another catch, and then I would get ready for the game. Game ends at, say, uh, let's say you play at 7, ends at 10, come in. Uh, usually you get a bite to eat. Uh, sometimes you do a workout, depending on the night. Um, sometimes I would 
come in, eat, rest for a while, then go work out. Sometimes they'd work out and eat, just depending. Uh, but you're going to usually get out of the park around, let's say, you know, after you eat and all that stuff, and then you're going to shower. Um, you probably get out of the ballpark, say, around 11 to 1130, depending if you work out. Sometimes they just come right in. I don't have to work out that night. I come in, probably do a quick little stretch, shower, and then maybe head out and eat someplace else. Maybe you got a bike to eat with a teammate. Maybe you got family in town. Maybe you got friends in town. Um, but I would say usually you're getting out of the ballpark around 11, 11.30. Head back to your, your apartment or your house, depending on um, where you're playing. Get in around 12, and then you know do whatever. Go to bed. I usually probably go to bed around 1 or 2. Sleep for about eight hours, wake up around nine or ten, get up, eat breakfast, um, probably sit around the house for about an hour or so, and then head back to the field. So that's pretty much, you know, your life um, when you're playing pro ball, whether it's minor or major leagues, you're at the park for, for most of the day. I mean, you're putting in typically on average, I'd say you're putting in about a 10 hour day or so, usually one to... And I say one to eleven, probably somewhere around. Yeah, well, somewhere around there. You put you usually put in a nine, ten hour day, I'd say. Um, and uh, you're not you're not home very much. So, um, you know, when I was playing, I was younger, and so I didn't have a wife or kids. I had a girlfriend who I'm married to now. Um, you know, my my girlfriend at the time, and then fiance, and then wife towards the end of my career. Um, typically lived at home. So, you know, we had our house here in Massachusetts. So I'd go out and play, she'd come out and visit me. But, you know, a lot of times it's just, you're at the ballpark all day long. You know, you're at the ballpark early, you stay there late, get a bike to eat, go home, go to sleep, wake up, go right back to the ballpark, or you're on the road traveling. So uh, it's a lot of baseball, but you get paid to do. And, uh, you know, most guys, that's what they work for their whole life, they'll play pro ball. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully that kind of helps you guys out and gives you an idea of what the normal schedule looks like in both the minor leagues and the major leagues, pretty much the same uh, both ways. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, comment section below. Uh, share this video with all your friends. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Check out our Instagram page, Inslang Baseball, and our Twitter feed, Bandit Nine. Uh, check out the description box below where I've put links to a bunch of books I've been reading lately and also training tools we use with our guys that I think you'll find helpful. Uh, check out our website, AnselmeBaseball.com, for more info on how to work with us and also on our teams. Other than that, that's all I got. Uh, thank you again so much for watching. Good luck to you guys, and we'll talk to you later.